Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley. Thanks for joining me today. In this month's edition of the Ellen Hudson In Touch newsletter, we're going to take a look at some window cards here. I'm going to show you three different ways to kind of create different types of windows on your card. And over on the In Touch blog, I have a couple of more ideas for you. So I'll be featuring the new Essentials by Ellen April release. There are some fabulous products in this release. The first one there that you saw was the Everyday Hero Lady, and she has coordinating dies. The next step is the Be Strong stamp set with the coordinating strong die. And finally, the Hot Mess Lady, because we all know that's every single one of us. <laughs> So I've gone ahead and stamped these in some Hero Arts Intense Black ink, and I've colored them with some Copic markers. And if you kind of want to slow down this video here, I have the colors noted. I'll also have them noted over at the InTouch blog, but these this way you can kind of see how they correspond with which image. So I've colored several a lot in the same color scheme because I like that color scheme. <laughs> and then I colored one kind of more Wonder Woman style. So now I'm taking the coordinating dies and I'm just positioning them over the stamped images and I'm holding them in place with some delicate surface painter's tape. And then I am going to put them through my Gemini Junior to die cut these. And what I did was I went ahead and die cut all of the images that I had colored and I have some accessories up here and I am all ready to go for a serious card making sesh here. <laughs> So now let's move on to the actual part that we're talking about today, which is windows. And my first idea for a window card is to frame up your focal image. So I am using the silver linings die set. This is from the Essentials by Ellen line. And I'm taking both of those kind of ray or like radiating ray type dies and I'm holding them together because I want to cut them as one large window from my card base here. So this is actually going to leave like a rectangle shaped window on my card. And you can see I'm popping out the pieces that it actually cut, which are those rays. I'm gonna use those on a project later on. And now I'm folding this card over with the die still in place. And I'm bringing in my embossing mat for my Gemini Junior. And I'm taking out the magnetic shim and I'm going to run this through. Now my die blades are facing into that embossing mat and I'm running it through so that I get a debossed image of this ray. Now I ended up flipping the card around so that when you see it through the window, it's actually embossed, it's coming at you. And that gives it a little more dimension. But you can see here, I'm just removing the die and then I am trimming out the little piece that's kind of left over in the gap. So I'm gonna be working with this Lawn Fawn Really Rainbow 6x6 paper pad and I'm temporarily adhering my little lady inside of that card so I can get an idea of what I wanna do. And I forgot when I had that die in place to go ahead and cut a second panel to act kind of as a cover up for the backside of this frame that I've created. So I went ahead and created a second panel there with that window cut out of it so that I can cover up and hide the places where I'm going to attach these clouds inside of that frame. So you can see I just used a little bit of foam adhesive to adhere those clouds. Those are some vellum clouds that I cut with the silver linings die set. And as I position these, I'm just having to kind of open and close the card to make sure I don't cover up my everyday hero lady there too much. Now on this card, I'll also be using the strong die and I'm die cutting it from some black cardstock that has some stick it adhesive already on the back of it so that I have a sticky backed die cut. And I've gone ahead and positioned the UR from the Be Strong stamp set on my mini Misty and I stamped that onto my card front and I just used the Versafine Claire Nocturne black pigment ink for that. Now I'm taking some tape runner adhesive and I'm going to adhere that frame panel on the inside of the card to kind of cover up all the adhesive where I've adhered those cards kind of floating in that window. And I've taken that pattern paper and I've also adhered it to the card front. And now I am going to adhere my Everyday Hero Lady right inside of the card. And you can see how that window really creates a nice frame around my focal image. Now this could also be fun to kind of make the frame a little bit smaller to where you can only see her face and her crown. And then when you open up the card, you would see her cape as kind of a surprise. 
So I'm removing the backer sheet from this strong die cut word here and then I adhered it underneath that stamped UR. And I'm going to finish off this card with a jewel in her crown and some iridescent star confetti sequin kind of things here. These along with the really rainbow paper pad are all a part of the power bundle which was designed to coordinate with this release. And you can see I finished off the card there with a layer of glossy accents over my strong die cut word. Now for my second card, I'm actually using a sentiment die for my window and we're going to play with a little bit of pattern here and let some pattern paper kind of peek through this window. So what I've done is I've die cut that love from my card base. I'm adding a little bit of liquid adhesive to the inside so that I can kind of back that with some vellum because I do want to add the inner portions of these letters back in. So I've taken the die cut word and I've just kind of placed it in there. And now I'm using that same zig two-way glue pen to add some adhesive right in the center and I'm just putting those little pieces of the, the inner pieces of the letters back in. Now the middle part of the E was stuck inside the die. So I just lined up the die with the word that was underneath. I put some adhesive on that little innard and <laughs> kind of poked it through with my pokey tool to get it into place. Now for my lady, I'm going to adhere her with a double layer of foam adhesive. Now because these ladies are all colored on some Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock, they are have a really good weight to them on their own. But adding that double layer of foam adhesive really makes them feel substantial on these cards. Now I've grabbed the totally awesome stamp set from the Essentials by Ellen line and I thought I would stamp totally and you so that the sentiment would read totally love you. But I didn't know if I was going to love it. So I stamped it on a piece of acetate first to kind of try it out and see if I liked it. And I wasn't loving it. So I took a baby wipe and I wiped off the totally part. And then I took that acetate back over to my card project and I liked the you by itself much more. So you can see that stamp set actually says you are. It's a little bit larger than the B Strong stamp set. So that's why I chose that one in particular. But I only inked up the U on that sentiment and then stamped it onto my card front. Now I want some pattern to show through this vellum die cut window here, but I wasn't sure what pattern paper I wanted. So I grabbed the really rainbow pattern paper pad and I just started trying some stuff out. And of course, this piece is my favorite, I think from the, it's actually one of two favorites from the entire pattern paper pad. And I really was trying to use a different pattern paper, but I love this one so much. So I die cut a heart from it and I am going to add some tape writer adhesive to the back of that and then place it on the inside of my card so that you see that pattern peeking through on the front. And then when you open the card, you reveal a whole nother element underneath. So once I get that positioned, and once again, I kind of had to open and close and get everything adjusted just right, I'm going to open the card back up and I'm going to trim off the excess. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere my hot mess lady <laughs> onto the front of this card. I love the hot mess lady because if we're all being honest, I'm totally, I'm a hot mess all the time. So I'm still in my Pilates workout gear from this morning. So, you know. That's how we roll sometimes. So I've taken more of that pattern paper. I've die cut some hearts and I've placed those onto the card front using some foam adhesive. And then I'm going to take and just tie some twine along the bottom of this card. And I'm going to adjust it over to the right side of the card a little bit more. By the way, that little heart that I used is actually from the Everyday Hero Ladies coordinating die set. It has a heart and a star and like kind of like a boom kapow shape. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It's a really cool kind of like comic book type shape. Now on the inside of this card, I wanted to stamp one of the fun sentiments from the Hot Mess Lady stamp set. So I put, you don't have to be perfect, your flossum on the inside. So it's kind of like, I love you just the way you are with all your flaws. And then I finished the card off with some of the rainbow jewels that are a part of the power bundle and a little bit of glossy accents over those hearts. 
Now for my third card and my final window idea here, I am going to use the window to suspend an element, which I think is a really fun way to use the windows. I am die cutting a heart shape from my card base and then I also die cut the smaller heart and the larger heart. So the window is one heart and the heart that I cut out of pattern paper is cut with one die smaller and one die larger than that window. And I'm going to adhere that pattern paper piece inside of the card base. And then I am going to add a layer of acetate. I could have added the acetate first and then the heart, but let's be honest, I didn't think of it. So, <laughs> and that acetate is going to allow me to attach my sentiment on the card window and have it kind of suspended there. Now, do you remember these pieces that I cut from the very first card? I am using them here to add a little bit of texture behind that window. So I just adhered those on the inside of the card using some double-sided tape runner adhesive. And now I'm removing the backing from that strong die cut word. That was also cut from that licorice twist cardstock with the stick it adhesive on the back. And I'm going to adhere that die cut right on the window so that it's floating there. Now to finish off this card, I just embossed the UR sentiment from the B Strong stamp set onto a piece of vellum and I attached that onto the window as well. And I'm just finishing this card off with some of the rainbow star iridescent stars here. And I added a few to the inside of the window as well so that that kind of cascade from the upper left hand corner could continue on through that window. And I wouldn't have to worry about kind of adhering them to the acetate. Now I added a little bit of shimmer to that strong die cut there using my tonic aqua shimmer pen. And that finishes off my cards for today. A few different ideas for window. We have a suspended element, a frame element, and a pattern paper element. All of those really fun ways to kind of incorporate windows onto your cards and use them in different ways to kind of play peekaboo and have some fun unexpected elements. And you can see that these window cards are really easy to create and they're just kind of something that can step up your card design a little bit or add an unexpected element to your card design. As always, I will have links to the featured products in the description at YouTube, but head on over to the Coordinating In Touch blog post. Over there, I'll have more still shots, more information, and a complete list of supplies, and I'll have a couple more window card ideas for you there as well. As always, I want to thank you for stopping by, for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed these projects. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss any of our paper crafting video tutorials. Thanks for stopping by and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end. You know if you're this far, you're my favorite. <laughs> If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, go ahead and click that button on the left side of the screen. And here's a couple more video tutorials I thought you might enjoy.